Good morning. Today is Friday, February 24, 2023. I'm Joshua Salina with your school news and announcement for St. Martin Mass 6 to 12 Academy. The tennis team participate, participated in the Youth Fair Tennis Tournament on Wednesday. We had our best finish in school history, finishing fourth overall out of 14 teams. For the first time in school history, we had two sisters, Valentina and Mia Jaraguay, competing together and reaching the semifinal of the Girl Doubles event. And two brothers, Shamsi and Musa Abul Darman, competing together and reaching the semifinals of the boys' double event. The, da the National Honor Society is hosting a canned food drive. We need your help collecting 500 cans. Community service will be given a one hour for every four cans donated. Bring your donations to the Media Center until Thursday, March 9th. Boys' basketball trials will take place on Tuesday, February 28th, 2023 at 2.45 p.m. Make sure you are in proper athletic attire. Bring your own water bottle and be ready to work. If you are late, do not come. If you miss a trial, no, you are not allowed to try on another team. Practices will be held on Tuesday and Thursday. If you can, if you cannot commit to every, being at every single practice, you cannot be on the team. Good luck. Did you know that the Science National Honor Society did their monthly cleanup on, on Winwood last Thursday, Saturday? Here it's Edso with the story. On Saturday, February 18th, the Science National Honor Society headed to Winwood a district in the urban core of Miami just north of downtown and west of Miami Beach. Home to one of the largest open-air street art installations in the world, this weekend Wynwood was the site of a community cleanup arranged by Clean Miami Beach. The nonprofit, founded by local environmentalist Sophie Ringel, has held over 200 similar cleanups in the area since 2019. Clean Miami Beach says that it is dedicated to keeping our community and natural habitats free of garbage and harmful pollutants with a focus on single-use plastics. Jose Marti Mass students joined volunteers from around the community in picking up trash along sidewalks and murals. SNHS club sponsor Mr. Samuels has coordinated multiple volunteer cleanups this year. And we're in Winwood today for a monthly uh, trash cleanup and uh, there's a lot of trash around me. There's a lot of students with me as well and we're here picking up for our Hidden Worlds pickup. This is going to be a special 3D immersive environment that we're going to go into when we're finished picking up sponsored by the Jacques Cousteau Foundation. So this is, a, this is great for the students because they get to see kind of the worst of Miami and the best of Miami. And the students at Jose Marti are the best in Miami. For more than two hours, club members helped clear garbage from around a lot on Northeast 17th Street. Mia, one of the volunteers, felt that they made a difference. I think that since Jose Marti comes in big sizes and a lot of people will show up to these cleanups, I think we really do make an impact. As the cleanup came to a close, the trash was gathered in weight and aluminum and plastics were separated from the trash for recycling. Volunteers gathered around the half-ton hall to celebrate a job well done, and the leader of the cleanup was especially grateful for the student turnout. We have so many students, so all the students are always welcome. Come to our cleanup, go to other cleanups, host your own cleanup. Visit cleanmiamibeach.org to learn more about their campaign and follow our Science National Honor Society for more information about their next volunteer outing. From Wynwood, this is Etzel Mena for Nightline News. Join the PTSA for Family Night with the Miami Heat. Buy your discounted tickets starting at $20 when the Heat take on the Utah Jazz on Monday, March 13th. Use the promo code HEATHOSEMARTI35 when you order. Details and link on our Schoology. Miami-Dade County Public Schools is offering homework help. Pop and Prep is a free homework help service exclusively for MDCPS K-12 students. My homework help is provided by certified MDCPS teachers. 20 to 30 minute sessions are available from 4 to 8 p.m. on Monday through Thursday. Get help with math, science, and social studies. Visit Papa and Prep Dateschools.net to get started. Now, for a moment in Black History Month. A moment in Black History. Did you know? In 1988, the Washington Redskins and the Denver Broncos clashed in San Diego, California for the Super Bowl 22. Quarterback Doug Williams led the Skins to victory, becoming the first black starting quarterback to play in the big game and the first black quarterback to be named Super Bowl MVP. Williams, a four-year star player for Grambling State University under the legendary Eddie Robinson, was selected in the first round by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the recommendation of the team's offensive coordinator, Joe Gibbs.
Williams became the first player in the Super Bowl to pass four touchdowns in a single quarter and also the first to score in four and a half. The Broncos went up 10-0 early in the first, but the Skins ultimately defeated the Broncos 42-10, still the largest deficit overcome by a team to win the Super Bowl. Williams threw for a total of 340 yards and won the MVP award. My name is Desire Bryant, and this concludes today's little-known black history facts. Lost and found items are being held in the car near the security desk at the front of the school. If you have lost something recently, check out the lost and found. That's it for us today. Have a great weekend.